Greetings, and welcome to the Lily Lectures. Today, we are going to look into the intriguing realm of identifying secret enemies using horary astrology. We shall explore the cosmic cues that reveal hidden foes and how to uncover their true nature. So grab your charts and let's dive in. When it comes to detecting secret enemies who haven't been named, astrology provides us with a valuable tool, the Lord of the Twelfth House. If a querent is concerned about unidentified adversaries, this house holds the key to unraveling the mystery. Remember, the Twelfth House is often associated with hidden matters and unseen influences. However, if someone comes to you with the names of specific enemies in mind, the Seventh House and its Lord become the focal point of your analysis. It's in this house that the dynamics of personal relationships, partnerships, and open confrontations are unveiled. Now, it's not just about identifying these houses. We need to pay close attention to how they interact with the Lord of the Ascendant. Is there a harmonious aspect or a challenging one? Look at which houses these aspects originate from for a deeper understanding. For instance, if the Lord of the Twelfth House forms a square or opposition aspect with the Lord of the Ascendant, particularly originating from the Eighth, Sixth, or Twelfth Houses, or houses that have a square aspect to the Ascendant, or if there's no aspect at all, then that's a red flag. It suggests there are individuals who secretly harbor ill intentions against the querent. These hidden foes may stir up mischief or act as covert adversaries. To uncover the identity of these secret enemies, we examine the Lord of the Twelfth House and assess its condition, taking note of its associations with benefic or malefic planets. Also, consider the Ascendant or its Lord. These elements provide critical context for our analysis. If the Lord of the Twelfth House is located in the Sixth House or conjoined with its Lord, this suggests that the secret enemy may be afflicted with some hidden ailment or illness. Similarly, if the Lord of the Sixth House is in the Twelfth House, we might be dealing with a situation where the enemy is experiencing some unseen troubles. However, if the Lord of the Twelfth House is in conjunction with the Lord of the Tenth House, it suggests that the secret enemy might hold favor with a person of authority or have a high social standing. In such cases, it is not advisable for the querent to engage with this individual, especially if the Lord of the Ascendant forms a square or opposition aspect with them. On the other hand, if the Lord of the Twelfth House is in the Fourth or Eighth House, or in conjunction with their respective Lords, it's a sign of potential sickness, imminent danger, or a state of discontentment associated with the secret enemy. It's important to emphasize that astrology doesn't provide a simple yes or no answer when it comes to secret enemies. Instead, it offers a nuanced perspective. Use discretion and judgment based on the given circumstances and the guidelines we've discussed today. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey through the astrological techniques for uncovering secret enemies. And as always, keep exploring the mysteries of the cosmos. Until next time, I am William Lilly and this is Christian Astrology.